Hands down, this is going to be the most interesting main slate of the year. Welcome back to Bray Birds DFS, one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course, DFS. If you don't know by now, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Why my channel? Well, for the NFL season, I'm going to release five videos a week so you can submit your lineups and win that walk. So I'm feeling a lot better, man. I had a really bad cold. Took me out for about two to three days. I might still sound might sound a little funny still, but trust me, I feel a lot better. It's Saturday. My team, Mississippi State, they're playing Kentucky today. I'm not promising a win, but I'm just feeling good representing the SEC and Mississippi State. All right, let's get into this overview of the week nine main slate. And before I start my overview, let me remind you what teams are not. I repeat, what teams are not on the main slate? So we know the Dolphins and Chiefs, they're playing in Germany. We know the Bills and Bengals, they're going to be Sunday night football. You have Chargers, Monday night football. And then the 49ers, Jags, and Lions are all on a bye. There's some other teams too, but I'm just showing you that there are two, four, six, eight really really good teams that are not on the main slate this week. So that means your DFS lineups are going to look a little more interesting than normal. So I'm going to go over my slate busters, which are like the difference makers that I do for showdown. So there are two quarterbacks, two running backs, two wide receivers, two tight ends, and two defenses that I believe if, if, you're, if you're submitting multiple lineups, you can sprinkle into your multiple lineups and get a little bit different so you can win that guap. And I'm warning you, I told you there are eight really good teams that aren't playing this week. Plus, we have a situation where... Some of the better teams are playing really good defenses, so I don't want to put my rep on the line for that. So let's start with these quarterbacks. So the first quarterback, uh, Slate Buster. All right. You can stop laughing. I mean, I, I know. I felt icky even putting this up on the screen. We know he had a good game. So we know. Here's the thing with Sam Howell. We know that he has a pretty high ceiling. We see he had 34 points against the Eagles, 29 points against Chicago, and, you know, 21 against Denver. We also know that he can melt down and have a very low floor. But look, he's 5,800, and we know that value quarterbacks, they allow you to stuff in those, those big wide receivers and running backs, those very expensive wide receivers and running backs that can be the difference maker. So, no. On a normal Sunday, I wouldn't make Sam Howell a slate buster. But I'm telling you, for this slate and considering his potential, and I know he's playing, you know, the Patriots and Bill Belichick and rookie quarterbacks and blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, Sam Howell is a slate buster. My next one, speaking of former commanders, Taylor Heineke. All right. 500. Imagine who you can fit in your lineup if your quarterback is only 500. And the Atlanta Falcons, okay, we know that London is out, but still, the Atlanta Falcons, they have some people in their lineup. They're wide receivers, they're running backs, they, and the tight end, we'll get into that. So Taylor Heineke is going to have targets like he hasn't had, and he did well in mop-up duty. And once again, for $5,000, and considering the slate and the eight teams I mentioned that aren't playing today, plus some of the better teams playing some tough defenses, I really like Taylor Heineke as a slate buster. All right, let's move on to running back. And the first running back, I know after the quarterback, you know I go crazy. This first running back, I mean, this is kind of like, duh, but I'm just telling you, don't try to get cute when it comes to Alvin Kamara. This guy, since he's come back from suspension in PPR leagues and DraftKings' is PPR, has been amazing. Look at this, 27, 29, 17, 18, 21. I mean... It sells itself. I don't know what to tell you. If you're if you're if you're on the fence about Alvin Kamara, please fall off the fence and put him into your lineup. All right, this next one's a little sneaky. So a starting running back at 4,300. So we all know Devin Singletary from the Bills, but now he plays for the Texans. And with Pierce out, he is expected, as you can read below with your own eyeballs, he's expected to get the bulk of the backfield work. So having a 4,300 a uh, $4,300 running back 
that does allow you, let's say that you say my slate versus are insane. That does allow you to put Lamar Jackson. That does give you space to put in Jalen Hurts. That does give you space for, you know, for uh, Dak Prescott. So I know he's going to be popular, but at 4,300, I mean, 4,300, I mean, you can't blame anybody for putting Devin Singletary into their lineups. All right wide receiver so this is why you have those value running backs and value quarterbacks you gotta have aj brown in your lineup he is definitely a slate buster last week 36 points week before that 32 points he's had 41 points before he's had one bad week but you in with a week like this with so much value on the board it would be insane to not put aj brown into some of your lineups and then addison i don't know why addison is still only six thousand dollars okay i understand cousins is down but addison is still someone you want to have in your lineup i know it's risky but i'm telling you look at what he's done since justin jefferson has been gone 21 points, 34 points, 18, and um, 11 points. So at $6,000, I think he is definitely worth the risk. All right, moving on to tight ends, definitely. A big target, definitely in the red zone. We can look at what he's done. Look at those targets that he's having. We can look at his game log, 9, 12, 8, 8. I mean, that's crazy. And as you can see, his, his uh, fantasy points, no surprise, have been trending up since Justin Jefferson left. All right, the other tight end. If you're going to have Heineke in your lineup, I really like Cal Pitts. As I mentioned, London is going to be out of the lineup. Cal Pitts, I know he's broken all of our hearts so many times over the years, me beyond DFS. But at 4,100, with Heineke now as a quarterback, look at his targets lately, 11, 6, 4, 5, and 4. He is primed this week for a really big game. All right, let's finish off with the defenses. And if you're trying to save money, let's say that, you know, you said, I'm not saving money at quarterback. I'm going to save my money at the defensive level. Well, if you haven't been paying attention, the Seahawks are really, really good as far as their defense. Two defensive touchdowns, 26, 26 sacks, four defensive fumble recoveries, and six interceptions. I know they're, pay they're playing Lamar Jackson. Um, but check it out. It doesn't Lamar Jackson doesn't control the ball at all times. All they need is a fumble and a scoop and score. Or they need Lamar Jackson to make one mistake. Lamar can just be the Lamar that we all know he can be. But if he makes one or two mistakes or one of his running backs or some kind of fluke kind of interception happens sometimes with the wide receiver where it bounces off their shoulder, boom. Now you have a lot of leverage and value over everyone else, and you only paid 2400 for your defense and you know what i've had them as a slate buster a lot this year on the other side of the ball you have the ravens they are due for a defensive touchdown and you know i don't believe in due but statistically they're due 31 sacks three defensive phone recoveries eight interceptions so this is definitely a pay-up option so on the other side of the ball you have seattle at 24 but if you say you know what walt I save money in other positions. I'm going to pay up. Well, you know what? The Ravens are the team to pay up and go get. So let me know your thoughts. Leave your comments. Good luck. Win that guap. And I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. And I'll talk to you next time.